today, um, welcome back to another show. If you're on the podcast, if you're in the Facebook group, welcome back. So today, again, I want to talk about this one concept that if you realize this now, it's going to save you a lot of trouble in the future. And the sooner that you realize this and you can adapt this perspective and you can adapt to this mindset, the easier life is going to become. So I have noticed a huge trend as I'm sure a lot of you have have maybe noticed, so there is some of you inside of this group who already have this perspective that I'm going to share with you, but a vast majority of you do not. And so, again, the sooner you can realize this, the easier your life is going to become. So I talk with men every single day, okay? Whether that's on the phone, whether that's in Messenger, whether that's in text, whether that's an email, it doesn't matter. I talk with men every single day. And I've been doing coaching now for the last seven years, give or take, since 2016. And I've noticed that this has gotten exponentially worse over the last like two to three years. Ever since we had, you know, the instances that we had back in 2020 and the events in 2020, I've noticed that this has gotten a lot worse. And I see it continue to get worse. And what I'm talking about is the victim mentality. And I talk about this because so many times when I when I speak with men, they tell me things that, you know, like nobody wants to help me. I've talked with five coaches. Nobody's willing to help me. My marriage is falling apart. I'm going to have a heart attack any day. Uh, help me, help me, help me. And you're like this victim in the corner crying and pouting that nobody wants to help you. And the fact is... It's not that nobody wants to help you, right? Because I do that for a living. That's what coaches do is we help people solve a specific problem for a living. That's what we do. That's our work, right? And a lot of the times the person who has the victim mentality, they don't see this. They see this as something that we should do for free uh, because we just enjoy doing it, right? The thing is, this is our work. This is what we spend our full time living doing. And so the same way you don't work for free, neither do we. Now, here's the thing. There is, we're living in a time, it's 2023. We're living in a time where you don't have to pay anybody for information anymore, right? So if you're looking for help with with your health, right? You don't know what, uh, what workouts to do. Well, the thing is you have access to the internet, right? You have access to YouTube. And so we no longer have an information problem. Like you can find a workout to do at home on YouTube. Very easy to do, right? You can find a workout on Google. Very easy to do. The part that comes into play is we don't have an information problem anymore. We have way too much information and people don't execute, right? And so that's where having a coach can come into play because we're going to hold you accountable to following through with that commitment as well as give you a proven blueprint versus seeking 20 different opinions from 20 different people and you don't know which one to follow, right? But the thing that I want to come back to is if you say that you can't get healthy because you don't have the money to get a coach and nobody wants to help you and wah, 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 wah. Here's the thing. Nobody owes you shit, Right? It is not the coach's problem or anybody's problem but yourself that your health is out of whack, right? So nobody has a responsibility to help you except for yourself. And if you don't have the resources, there's a lot of things you can do. Again, you can go onto YouTube. Push-ups are free. Walking is free. Running is free. Pull-ups are free. Crunches are free. Supermans are free. Planks are free. Sit-ups are free. I can go on all day, right? These are all free. So if you are somebody who says, I can't get healthy because money, sometimes I ask you guys, what's the roadblock? Like, why why are you having trouble with fixing this problem, right? And sometimes you'll say money. And the reality is, you can exercise for free. You don't need a gym membership. You don't need an app. You don't need all of these things, right? They can help you and they can make the process shortcut, right? So when you're hiring a coach, you're paying for a program, you're paying to minimize the amount of time it takes you to learn and to execute, right? You don't have to go search for things. 
you have a very clear plan of what to do versus when it's free, yes, you're going to have to spend your time to find these things, right? And you're going to have to have the responsibility to execute. And even when you have a coach, it's your responsibility to execute. But the reality is if you want to get in shape, there's so many things that you can do for free for exercise, right? So don't use money as an excuse for why your health is out of whack, okay? There's plenty of free things that you can do. And I also have people who tell me like, because again, this group is not just about fitness, right? The, the thing is for you to become the best man possible, you have to take care of yourself first and that starts with your body, right? Now, let's say your body is, is good, right? Or maybe it's not, but you wanna start a business, right? And you don't know how. And I just had a call like this actually about an hour ago. And the guy said that he wants to start a business. He wants to fix his health. He wants to do all these things, right? But then he said that he's not willing to, to invest to fix that. And here's the thing. Like, again, you don't have to, to invest to fix that. When I first started getting into business, I didn't have the money either to invest because I was in just so much debt at that point in my life. I just did not have the ability to invest in a coach. Now, looking back on it, I could have been resourceful and sold things and hired a coach and I would have done what took me five years. I could have done in one, right? And would have saved me a lot of stress and a lot of time and a lot of energy by hiring that coach. But here's the thing. Let's say you want to start a business. All of the information is on the internet right? You can go into YouTube and you can say how to start a Facebook business page, how to start a Facebook group, how to start an email list, how to start text message marketing, how to set up my website. There is unlimited amounts of information, right? And so again, don't cry in a corner and whine and pout that nobody wants to help you and I don't have the money and this and that, right? So say your marriage is broken too and you want to fix your marriage and again you're you're coming with the excuse and the victim mentality that i don't have the money nobody wants to help me my marriage is shit blah 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 blah. well the person you're asking for help it's not their fault that your marriage is shit right it's your fault so you need to take ownership that hey my marriage sucks because of me right and once you can take that ownership you can actually fix the problem versus a lot of the times when people hire a coach they look for help they're looking for a savior, right? They're like trying to find somebody to just save them. And at the end of the day, anybody who's coaching you can only lead you and guide you, right? We can't force you. We can't save you. It's going to be up to you to, to do what we ask you to do, right? We can't force anybody. And so when you understand that fact, you can understand that, okay, I'm asking this person for help, right? And if they help me, and my marriage gets fixed, well, there's a lot of value in that, right? You avoid divorce. Divorce is expensive. You avoid everything that comes along with a broken marriage. Maybe you got custody battles. Maybe you have all these other things, right? So if somebody can help you to fix your marriage, understand there's a lot of value to that, right? If somebody can help you to fix your health, there's a lot of value to that because you're avoiding, again, um, passing away, right? You're avoiding hospital bills. You're avoiding medications, you're avoiding lost energy, you're avoiding lost time, you're avoiding lost intimacy, you're avoiding a lot of things by improving your health, right? And so there's a lot of value to that. So instead of running around with the, the victim mentality that nobody wants to help me, everybody wants my money, blah, 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 and crying like a little baby, instead, do what I did when I first started my business, right? Go on to YouTube, learn about the topics that you want to learn about. It's going to take you a lot longer to do this yourself. I'm going to be up front with you. And 99% of you will give up before you actually get the result. And that's why, again, having a coach, somebody who can provide you the tools to, to shorten your learning span and to remove the guesswork so that you avoid the failures and the thoughts and the stories that come up from failing because again, when most people encounter failure, they're gonna quit and most people cannot encounter multiple failures and keep the momentum to keep going and that's why most people don't get the result. And again, that's where a coach can help you because they have a proven blueprint to get you there a lot faster and a lot easier. But if you don't, again, if you're somebody who can embrace failure, you can switch your mindset, you can have these perspective change, there is a percentage of you that can 
get results on your own, but it's a very, very small percentage, right? You're gonna need a lot of time, right? So if you're somebody who's busy, you have a family, you have kids, you're probably not gonna have the time to be able to learn all these things. So hiring somebody is much more in your favor. Now, if you're a young 22 year old kid, right? And you're not having a lot of other obligations, you probably have time on your hands and you can learn. But again, even in that situation, if you can minimize five years of learning into one, think about how much better your life would be over the course of those additional four years versus going through struggles and failures and pains. And so we live in a world now where everybody is a victim. Everybody is entitled. Everybody thinks that everybody should help them and everybody should, um, you know, care. And here's the thing, like, it's not that people don't care, but everybody has their own problems, right? And so if somebody's going to take time and energy and effort to help you, understand that there is there is value in that and nobody owes you shit. Like, I do not owe any of you inside of this group a damn thing, right? I give and I make these videos to help those who maybe are on the fence about our program, who are on the fence about hiring us as, as a coach. But I also know there's a good percentage of you inside of this group as well that will never invest inside of our coaching program. You just never will. And I'm okay with that. I want to be able to give as much value and try to help those who want the help as much as possible using these free videos, using these free resources and shifting your perspective and shifting your mindset, right? Because it's it's not about information. It's about consistent action. And when you have the right mindset, the right habits, that becomes a lot easier. So everything that I give to you guys in this group is to shift your perspective. It's to shift your mindset to open up, right? Because again, I want to help as many of you as possible. But again, I know there's a percentage of you that will never join our program. And again, I'm totally okay with that, right? That's why we have all of our free content. That's why I have so much value because I want to, again, help as many people as possible. But if you want my time away from my family, you want my knowledge, you want my expertise, you want me one-to-one, -one, understand you're going to pay for that. I am not going to sacrifice time with my wife and with my family to help for free. Understand that because what I provide has value and I don't need to explain all of this. But again, there's a lot of you that have this victim mentality that you think that as a coach, because you're in my group, I'm obligated to help you. I'm not right now. I want to help you again. That's what all these videos are for. Um, but just understand guys, like a lot of the times you'll have this inside of your, your family too, right? You'll think that um, one of your family members is required to pick you up from work. Well, because it's your family. No, they're not required to do anything, right? So anytime anybody is giving you something, understand that they're doing that out of their own will, right? They're not required to do those things. So always appreciate anytime you know, somebody is helping you and somebody goes out of their way to try to provide you some value inside of your life. I've, I've just done too many of these calls at this point and I've noticed again that too many men in 2023 are playing the victim, right? They blame the government, they blame the coach, they blame their job, they blame their wife, they blame their kids. If you can actually just take a step back and instead of maybe blaming your boss, understand, hey, I'm taking accountability for that um, issue at work, right? Or say you don't like your work, your, your, your job is, um, you don't like your boss, right? And it's stressful and you guys don't get along and then you complain about your boss and it's your boss's fault. Well, no, it's your fault because you're choosing to continue to go to the job, right? And then the victim will say, well, I need a job. I need a job. Yeah, but understand you're choosing to continue that job. You can find another job, you can find another opportunity, you can do different things, right? A lot of the times men too will blame their wife for, you know, oh, I can't eat healthy because of the way that, that my wife cooks. Well, you're making a decision to eat the food. You're making a decision to not have a discussion with her that, hey, I wanna take my health more seriously 
and this is what I need from you. Are you willing to support me? Right? Instead of blaming her or, you know, oh, my, my kids always take all my time. I don't have time to exercise. Well, I can guarantee if you look at your phone, you're spending time on social media, you're watching Netflix, you're doing things, wasting your time. So don't blame your kids. Now I've, I've even found myself, I still find myself, this doesn't go away, right? It's just acknowledging that, hey, I'm playing a victim and understanding that you can switch to not being a victim, right? I had a call the other day at 10.30 in the morning and I typically do cardio. I go for a walk in the morning and I woke up a little bit later and I cut my exercise session short because I knew I had a call at 10.30 and the 10:30 call didn't show up and I got mad and I was, you know, upset because I cut my exercise session short to show up for this guy. Well, in reality, it's actually my fault for cutting my exercise session short, right? Because I decided to sleep in a little bit. I decided to cut that so close. I did not prioritize my schedule properly and I could take ownership for that specific situation. And so if we can just have this perspective shift I'm just telling you guys right now that your life will become a lot easier because when you play the victim, you give all of the power away. Like you can't fix the problem, right? If, if you give the, the problem as it's my wife's obligation, well, now you've given all the power, right? And you don't have the power in yourself to actually fix that because it, uh, it, where you're at, you're saying that it's up to her and you can't do anything about it, right? But if you can take ownership for that, and I'm not telling you that everything is your fault, right? Not everything is going to be your fault, but it's going to be your responsibility, how you react and what you do going forward. That's where the ownership comes from, right? Like not everything is going to be your fault. There's a lot of things that go on on a daily basis in work, in marriage, in business, in family, in friends, in everything right then there's going to be things that are not your fault right the majority of things are probably not going to be your fault but it's going to be your responsibility how you react and what you do about that specific situation going forward and so i just want this video to to wake you guys up right again if you're somebody who says nobody wants to help me um you know oh i have seven kids boo hoo i don't have any money well nobody forced you to have seven kids understand that that's your decision you decided to have those seven kids take ownership of that situation and figure it out right stop blaming oh the government doesn't support me this night it's no it's nobody's fault but yourself that you had seven kids stop it right your marriage sucks okay take ownership of that stop blaming your wife for everything again uh, like not everything is going to be your fault, right? The marriage may suck and some of that may be on her end, right? But if you can take ownership of that, you can actually fix it, right? If you're somebody who wants to start a business, stop saying you don't have the money to do it. You don't have this to do it. You don't have that to do it. You have YouTube. You have all the information that you need to get started. There is no reason why in 2023, we should be saying that we don't know how to do something right? Because YouTube is literally a couple keystrokes away. Um, if you can't work out because you don't have the money, that's bullshit, right? Go for a walk, go for a run, do some push-ups. go onto YouTube, do everything that you possibly can to fix your situation, right? And again, maybe you say you don't have the money, but here's the thing. I can guarantee you that if you actually look at your bank account, you do have the money but you're spending it on your current habits, right? I had a guy earlier submitted an application with us, same thing. He said that he's struggling with alcohol addiction, he's drinking, he's you know doing substances and different things, but then he said he's not willing to invest to fix the problem. And it's just like ass backwards because you're willing to invest in your addictions, you're willing to invest in the things that are fucking your life up, but you're not willing to invest to fix it, right? And it's just it's just blows my mind when I see these situations because it just doesn't make any sense at all. And there's always going to be victims in this world, but I just hope that in this video, maybe we, we eliminate some, maybe we can help some of you to stop being a victim at this point. And if you are being a victim and you can acknowledge that, I would love for you to comment down below, like where are you currently playing a victim 
inside of your life, right? I've done this on many accounts, right? You can blame your wife. Oh, I'm not working out because the wife. Oh, I, I did this because the wife. I did that because the wife. It was all your decision to do it. You didn't have to do it, right? So where are you playing the victim? Where can you shift your mentality to become an unstoppable warrior and to take ownership of your life? Because the second that you can take ownership, life gets a lot easier, man. And, and I'm not telling you that this is going to be easy, but it gets easier because you have the ability to change it, right? The victim can't change it. He blames everybody else for his problems. But when you own that, you can actually make a decision to do something different, right? Hey, this job sucks. I'm going to actually start to look for a new job. Oh, my pay sucks. I've been stuck at the same pay for the last 10 years. Instead of blaming the market, instead of blaming the industry, take a look at yourself in the mirror and ask, have I actually developed new skills over the last 10 years? Or am I the same individual from 10 years ago who is expecting more value from my employers, but I don't have any more skills compared to myself 10 years ago, right? A lot of people say, oh, I have 10 years of experience at this job. Well, no, you probably have one year repeated 10 times because you've never actually grown and learned how to do new skills. And so if you want to make more money, I'm going to encourage you that you need to learn some new skills, right? Because if you're not making the money that you want, it's an indication that your skill set is not where it needs to be. And you need to get more skills to level up your income, right? And so those are just some examples. I could talk about this all day, but let me know in the comments where you're playing the victim. Um, I know probably most of you won't comment because a lot of men are afraid to talk about these type of things. So I give my hats off to any of you commenting and I would encourage you to comment because the second that one of us can start to be vulnerable, and I've been vulnerable in this video and I've shared my experiences in this video, right? The second that more of us can start to become vulnerable because we feel safe, we feel that other people are also in that same boat. And and I can go on with examples. I, can, I, I played the victim when I was back in 2013, right? I was dating a girl for seven years and I blamed her. I said, oh, well, you know, because of this, this situation, you know, it's her fault. And the, the long story is she ended up, you know, cheating and different things went on and I blamed her. But in reality, I wasn't being a good partner, right? I wasn't being supportive at all. I wasn't being encouraging at all. It was all about me. I was very self-centered. I didn't take care of her needs. I wasn't, you know, being a you know, playing both ways here, right? And a relationship goes both ways. And so I have been able to step back and learn from that situation so that in my next relationships, and now I'm married, I can be a different me. I can be a better me so that I'm not playing that victim. And this is why a lot of people jump from relationship to relationship to relationship and they keep having the same problems because they blame the other person for everything and they don't take accountability for the man in the mirror. And so again, so many situations that we've talked about here inside of this video. If you're in the group, let me know in the comments. If you're in the YouTube, let me know in the comments what your takeaways were. Let me know where you're currently being a victim and, and where you can improve um, going forward. I would love to you know, hear from you guys and Again, encourage you guys and, and hopefully from this video, at least one of you has taken this in and, and you've shifted your perspective to not be a victim anymore, at least in one area of your life. And when you do play the victim in the future, because again, this isn't going to just disappear, you can actually acknowledge it. Like, hey, I'm being a victim. I need to stop being a victim and I need to be an ownership. I need to take ownership of this situation, right? And so, again, that's my goal for this video. If I can help just one of you do that, then I've accomplished my job. Let me know your comments down below. Comment hashtag live if you're watching live. Um, comment hashtag replay if you're watching the replay. And let me know what you guys would like me to talk about in future videos. Like, I love doing these trainings, and sometimes I don't 
I just have things that come to mind and I just decide to just push live and just to talk. But if you guys have specific things that you're struggling with, let me know, comment down below and maybe I'll make a video about it. Maybe I'll make a training about it because again, my whole goal is to help you guys inside of this group to help those that are open to the help, to, to help those who actually want to be helped and to help those who are going to take ownership of their life and to implement the value that I'm giving to you. There's enough value in this group for you to change your life if you actually look through this group and you implement the information inside of here. We've been doing these trainings for the last four or five years in this group. I'm telling you, we have enough in here for you to change your life, but you're going to have to go ahead and, and implement <laughs> what we're giving to you. And that's the hard part. Um, but anyways, let me know your comments down below, guys, and I'll see you in the next training.